Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with my tutorials on thermodynamics and statistical mechanics. This is video number 41 and I'm going to discuss extensive and intensive quantities quite briefly. So let's draw your attention to my website universityphysicstutorials.com. So, by definition, if a quantity doubles, when you double the number of particles, we call it an extensive quantity. In the language of computing, we would say then that everything else is intensive. intensive excuse me. So, to give examples of extensive and intensive. So, think about it. You double the number of particles, you double the, the value of that quantity. Volume, entropy, energy, the, the free enthalpy and the free energies, and also the mass, are extensive. Temperature is not extensive, it is intensive. So is pressure, so is the chemical potential. And depending on how homogeneous your medium is, so is your, your density. So, what happens if you multiply, divide, add and subtract your extensive and intensive quantities? First of all, if you multiply two extensive quantities, you most likely did something incorrect. So, if you multiply extensive and intensive, you get extensive. You add extensive, you get extensive. You add intensive, you get intensive. And you divide extensive, you get intensive. So, let's just see if we can use an example. This is the thermodynamic identity. So, if you look, we have an intensive multiplied an extensive three times each giving us an extensive quantity and if you add or subtract three extensive quantities you get an extensive quantity so this is that the change in energy should be extensive and if we go back up here we find extensive we have our energy is extensive correct so I said it to be brief thanks for watching please pass it on to your friends subscribe to my channel and you might also visit excuse me visit universityphysicstutorials.com thanks